Let's talk about Kalani. Let's talk about the resort that I volunteered at for three months, what my opinions are, if I would recommend it, what my experience was like, was there any ups, was there downs? Of course there was ups. Was there downs? A little bit. Let's talk about it. So this resort that I volunteered at for about three months in total, it was a little bit split up because I had my yoga teacher training in between. I had been in the department of housekeeping and I had absolutely loved it. I was a, with a lot of awesome people that just had really good vibes and it was a really awesome change in scenery and I was so young and fresh to it all so I had such an open mind. I didn't know what to expect so I just went in there with no expectations whatsoever. So let's start off with me landing in Hawaii and let's just talk about from start to finish. I hope this is, I have 11 minutes left on this so obviously it can't end up being too long so let's talk about it. I had landed at the airport and I had someone from the resort come and pick me up. It was nighttime, so I had no idea what to expect because I really couldn't see anything but what I could feel was the warm air on my skin and when I was driving in the van I had my hand out the window and I was just soaking it all in because oh my god the temperature over there was just something that I fell in love with as soon as I felt it. I had woke up in paradise absolute paradise now at this resort there were two options there was an option to camp and there was an option to stay in this like housing now i went in the housing because i didn't think i'd really enjoy the camping plot twist i wish i would have camped but if i were to go back i would have done that differently i'm not planning on ever going back and i'll get into why in a little bit later into the video so i had ended up connecting with a lot of cool people and it was an awesome time it definitely was they had a huge buffet where you would have your breakfast lunch and dinner that was at the point where i wasn't vegan i wasn't high carb so i wasn't really needing the amount of food that i do now so it was perfect for the timing of what i was into and my eating habits and everything like that now, they also had a little gym, so my daily routine, I would basically wake up, go to work. I wouldn't work more than six hours a day, and you would only work about four days a week, so I had the rest of the time to myself. And at this resort, they also gave you a ton of options in order to go to a ton of different classes. Anything from yoga to painting and art and all of this stuff, it was all over the map, and they had a lot of options, and it was really cool. You really got your money's worth. How much did I pay? I paid about $500 a month, which is really good if you think about it. I got a place to stay, I got all of my meals included, I got to have all of this access to all of these classes. It had a pool, it had a hot tub, and a sauna, and a really mini gym. Uh, and it was great. It was really great. So it's an awesome getaway for people who maybe need to take a little bit of a break or want to explore the island but also have those secure essentials um, with a little bit of luxury on top of that. It's a really good price just to give a little bit of your work uh, per week and put a couple of hours in every day. Well, more than a couple, but you end up getting so much for it. It's really awesome. And they're really community based. So everyone is really interactive with each other. But if you're more of a little bit of an introvert, then that's totally fine too. Um, you don't need to be involved in everything that they do take part in there, like everything that they do there, because I definitely didn't. Um, when you're getting used to it and you're kind of wanting some time to yourself, that's fine. That's totally fine. But know that it's both sides of the spectrum that are there. And there was a beach right down the road for me. It was a black sand beach and it was absolutely beautiful. The waves were so magical and I have come to learn that I am definitely a water baby. For sure. I just, I couldn't get out of the water ever. I was just like, leave me in here for hours. That's fine. I will, I don't want to come out. I could honestly be pruny and I'd be like, I'm good y'all. But, um, yeah, it was something that I really enjoyed doing daily. I wish I would have done it a little bit more, um, but that's totally fine. I have so much time to go back. And the roads. The roads, I know you're probably like, why are you talking about the roads? were the most beautiful roads I've ever been in in my life. There are just trees just hanging and covering, and not covering the roads, you can drive through it, but just like, oh my goodness. I'm going to insert like a little picture right here. I'm going to put a little couple pictures throughout this because they're not the best quality, honestly, because I had an iPod touch at the time. But um, yeah, so you'll understand what I'm what I'm saying. Or you can also follow me on Instagram um, at Jazz Davies with two S's at the end. And you can go back to my older pics and you'll be able to see so many pictures from there. So beautiful. So all these pictures I'm showing here are actually of my most recent trip um, that was about two years ago. So the one that was of a year before that, it's also on there. So if you are wanting to check those out, you can definitely add me on Instagram or go check it out and you can see them all there. 
So let's get into why I'm never going to go back. And I had a beautiful experience while I did, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone and everyone. But uh, I did have an experience that really did leave an impact on me that has given me no desire to give my money to them again or to go back whatsoever. Now, I really appreciate how community-based they all are and how they all act like a family. That's totally awesome. But what had happened is in my yoga teacher training, this woman really had it out for me for some reason. Like, she just, she hated me to the point where she had gone to the, like, head people of the volunteer place and she had told them that I was doing a bunch of drugs and that I was involved in a lot of stuff that shouldn't have been there even though it wasn't true whatsoever. Um, she made up a lot of lies about me in yoga teacher training when I was apparently doing a lot of coke and coming in all messed up all the time even though I was extremely sick and that's the reason why I'd missed a lot of time there. And um, basically she told another girl in that class that it was her goal to get me kicked out and to be able to never come back. Now she is grown. She's a grown woman. She has two kids. I don't know what her deal was to this day, I don't, but thinking about it doesn't serve me and I never got involved with her, I just gave her pure love because realistically, like, I had done nothing wrong so I wasn't gonna waste my energy on it, but she was so set on always just making me look like such a negative individual. I don't understand why people like that um, really want to use their energy for that, but anyways, so they had had a sit down with me and a talk and I had gone over how she has really had it out for me for the last couple weeks that I've been here. I don't know why, um, gossiping to a lot of people about me and such like that. Me and her never really even interacted. Um, we actually had to share a room together and she ended up moving out because we just, we did not mesh whatsoever. I wasn't excuse my language, like I wasn't a bitch to her or I wasn't anything to her, I really don't know what happened there, but basically me and like the two other people that ran the place, we'd sat down and I told them like I, this is what's going on, I don't know why this is going on, um, I just want you to know that you know all of these things that she's been saying about me are not true whatsoever, so I really, I don't know what to say other than I'm sorry that she actually had to take the time to be able to take you guys aside and put your time and energy into this because Nothing is coming out from it, and this is why I'll never go back. So, they were extremely nice to my face. I said, you know what, sometimes there's just people like this in the world, and we just need to put no energy or attention to them. Um, I'm very sorry that all of this happened, so definitely know that you are more than welcome back here. You are not getting kicked out, you know. Basically just telling, basically telling me that they were on my side, they believed me, they understood that sometimes people like this just do things like this just because, and um, it's really sad, but what had happened is when I left and I said bye to them and I was like, bye guys, like I can't wait to um, come back and see you again, and they were like, oh yeah, like I can't wait for you to come back, thank you so much, like thank you for your time and we're gonna really miss you and all of this kind of stuff, and so a year goes by and I had already saved so much money, had it in my mind that I was like, okay, yep, I'm going back. So I messaged them, I'm like, hey, these are the dates that I want to come back, like, does this work? And they sent me this letter and they said, oh, um, I'm sorry, Jasmine, you're not going to be allowed back and we will not let you back for another two years until you can prove that uh, you have changed and that those things that had happened, you know, are no longer a part of you. And I'm like, what? What? Oh my god! I was like, are you kidding me right now? Like, I was, I was so shocked that I didn't know what to say. I didn't know, I didn't even know how to reply, to be honest with you. And I'm not gonna lie, I got so sad and I was crying and it was just something that I was like, wow, like you never really know people, you know, they say one thing, they actually mean another. And I actually planned on when I went back to go there and talk to them and explain and say like, hey, this is not cool, what's going on? And then I thought to myself, you know what? I've already met so many cool people on the island. I don't need to go back. I don't want to go back. I would not want to go back to people like that. Oh, are you kidding me? I would not want to try to pretend like we're this family when you said one thing to my face and you completely lied to me after. I just. I couldn't believe it. So 
overall I had an amazing experience that is the reason why I will never go back though um, but it is such an amazing place that I really do recommend for people don't let my experience taint the thought of you going there and having that maybe alter your experience because it won't it shouldn't um, that's just something that unfortunately happened to me but it was all meant to be at the end of the day because they had a lot of rules that I didn't really like um, and I'm glad that I now have the ability to go back and have my freedom for sure so yeah um, that's my story for today so I'm gonna edit these and get them out to you guys and um, yeah I can't wait for this winter for me to have so many new adventures for you guys I'm so excited to have that and to have this awesome camera to be able to film that so I can't wait for those and um, if you're excited for those Hawaii vlogs then definitely subscribe down below so that you can see when those come up on your homepage and yeah I will catch you guys later I am going to go enjoy the rest of my day off I'm gonna make a smoothie and then I'm probably gonna take my puppy for a walk and then go see one of my good friends so I hope you guys all have a wonderful day I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one Mwah!